Greetings. Yes, I. My name is Tippy. I'm broadcasting from Holy Mountain Studio right here in St. Croix, USVI. Yeah, man. Give thanks for having me. Sound Toys, Sonic Scoop. I'm here to demonstrate how I use some Sound Toys plugins in my live dub. I'm a music producer, engineer, mastering engineer, mixing engineer, and um, these days a lot of live dub engineering. And dub music is a form of music created in Jamaica in the early 70s that was using reverbs, echoes, delays, phasers, various effects to create a soundscape for the listener. And this kind of contributed to many genres, including hip hop, almost all of EDM, dubstep, anything coming out of London. <laughs> dub music has affected um, so many other genres and it's often uh, neglected in music history. So check it out. But differently, live dub, which is what I do here, uses um, any form of playback. Right now I'm using a MIDI mapped controller that's triggering different settings within Ableton. Ableton is like my reel-to-reel -reel machine here in the dub scenario. Back in the 70s, it was used reel-to-reel -reel tape through an analog mixing board with various outboard effects. And in my studio here, it's a bit hybrid. I have some outboard gear like this tube tape echo, this um, echo fix tape echo, which is an emulation of a space echo. I have various pedals, phasers, reverbs, delays. Right, but most of my dubbing is done inside the box, inside Ableton. And um, Sound Toys is one of the plugins that I use the most on almost every dub because the echoes and phasers and delays are just so great. And they um, really, really allow me to um, shape the mix how I want. So today I want to demonstrate a bit of how I use these plugins, particularly using them with my delays, right? And we're going to demonstrate using the track here, Zion Eye Kings. I'm going to focus in on this instrument here, the piano and guitar together, to show you the different delays and phasers. All right. The way I have my mixing board set up here is each row corresponds with a different send and return. All right, so I'll have about three or four different reverbs and the rest would be delays and phasers. And down here, this is a send return going to effect rack. If you don't know, effect rack is Sound Toys multi-effects plugin that allows you to mix and match and use any of the different Sound Toys plugins and mix them together. And it's great, I really love it. And here I'm using Echo Boy, followed by Filter Freak, followed by Crystallizer, and ending with Decapitator. And MIDI mapped over here, I can control the feedback. I can control the delay time. That's 16th note, 32nd note, 8th note. Yeah, so we'll stick with 8th note for now. Additionally, you can control what style. And this is a tube tape emulation. What I love about Echo Boy, right, is you can select from all these different echo styles. Space Echo has a different sound from the tube tape echo, right? And these are all emulations of classic machines, the Echoplex, that was used a lot in King Tubby's productions. And they really capture the sound and the energy of each one. So this one is my tube tape, and I really like it for these purposes of a nice gritty delay. All right. Other things that I control are my mix knob on the Filter Freak. Right? And here it's kind of acting like a, a phaser, slowly filtering. And then I have my mix knob on the crystallizer. 
which I have set to like a doubler sound, which really adds a lot of nice width. And finally, intensity of the decapitator. You can really drive it, right? But my most used knob is feedback, right? And feedback loops, of course, were created on analog mixing boards using sends and returns and feeding back the return onto itself, but these plugins are nice enough to have a feedback knob. While dubbing, this is one of the best tools I have to create emotion. So that's effects rack. Right below it, I have another instance of Echo Boy, this time alone. And this is a preset that I created that it's a ping pong delay with different delay times on each side. So on the left side, it's 1 32nd, and on the right side, it's 1 16th. And they ping pong back and forth. And this is set up with a space echo style. And what I love about the space echo feedback is even when the feedback is on Mac, it never really overloads, right? And if you compare that to a different style, eventually it'll just build and build and build and kind of take over, but yeah. The space echo emulation is what I'm using here. And in the context of the rhythm, it's a great bounce. It's a real back and forth feel to the delay. Yeah, man. Sounds great on the pick guitar. That's it on the horns there. So it's a very wide delay. And another thing with this delay, what I do here in my mixing board is I'll send the return to different other effects, sometimes reverb, sometimes phasers. And on this return, I'm sending it, sending it to phase mistress. So you can hear that phasing sound on the delay, right? And all of the modulations are happening in mathematical time depending on the different settings, right? So here I'm using Echo Boy, but the return is also going to Phase Mistress. things I want to show you guys is how I use the different times of delays on my ping pong delay. On this track here I have Echo Boy on a ping pong delay with 1 32nd on the left side and 1 16th on the right which creates a really nice stereo field. Right? right now this whole right now this whole delay is getting sent to phase mistress right so the return on the delay 
is getting some phaser sound. And with my MIDI mapping, I can adjust the frequency and the overall amount. All right, on the effects rack, I'm using a straight 1 8 single echo. But I have a knob MIDI map to change that time if I need a faster delay. And I always map the low cut and the high cut to be able to dull out. Especially with dubbing in the digital age, you never want it too high endy in my opinion. Sounds a, a lot more authentic rolling off some of the highs, so I use this a lot. But you know the feedback time. That's where the sweetness is in the dub. To really create some cinematic kind of sounds, you know? So give thanks, Sound Toys. Give thanks, Sonic Scoop. Bless up.